you have been doing some investigation all this while. Is this a new line of reporting? Yes, thank you, Gilles, for having me this evening. Uh, no, it's not actually a new line of reporting, but we have actually been doing finding, monitoring organization, the activities, what they are doing. So it's a kind of a check and balance uh, kind of style reporting that uh, especially with community organization or cultural organization, when they seek uh, public fund, then we really want to know what they are, do, they are doing with that money and to give the feedback to the general public. Okay, thank you, sir. Part of your investigation is on a certain 120 million CFA France scandal. How did you learn about this? Can you tell us a little more, a, bit, a little bit more about it? Yes, uh, with regard to the 120 million uh, France CFA, uh, the document, somebody forwarded the document to me around mid-December of 2022. Uh, I didn't believe that, that kind of money I didn't just believe that was true. Then the letter on a few days later, the document was circulating on social media. Uh, I think we saw I saw it on Legda Net, uh, which is the BLM forum here in the US. Uh, then I said, oh, maybe this is true. And there was so much anger. People were writing messages left and right. So I just said, let me find out if this is actually true or uh, what actually happened because the date on the document was showing that money was disbursed to Mr. John Fonga in 2018, then we only learn about it in 2022. That is four years after. Uh, so I call some few people at home to find out if there have been any agricultural activity or something related to that kind of activity that we're uh, showing on those documents. Nobody seemed to have any clue. So then when I had the opportunity to interview the CEO of Legda USA of Sundemano, so that conversation came on. He said he was in Cameroon, and uh, he asked him, uh, he said, no, uh, he didn't have any positive answer. I mean, people can go back online and watch the, the entire interview, which is about an hour long. We discuss a lot of stuff. So that's when I decided to say, no, let me find out more about, we are talking about 120,000 uh, million francs CFA. That's a lot of money. So uh, I called Mr. John Fongan on the number that was on the document. Uh, I tried him several times to no avail. So um, I want to use this medium to say, if it's out there listening to me, uh, you can come back to Gaza Media or any other media and maybe play his name and maybe clarify to the general public, especially to the BLM people. Thank you. Okay, sir, please, what exactly do you want to find out from him? Yes, as you know, as a community leader, that the document shown that he is the president of Legda Cameroon. There are very basic questions like, actually, do you actually receive this money? What do you use the money for? Or maybe he's still trying to, maybe he's still working on it or whatever may, the situation may be. I mean, think that when did he become the president of Legda Cameroon? Who are the member of the executive? When was the last convention? What are the re resolution? Just basic stuff like that, like any other organization. Of course, you yourself have interviewed a lot of community leaders, people that own NGO, that they seek public funding. So it's just part of the media investigating, check and balance of what is happening in our community to restore honesty and sanity. Thank you. Okay, sir, tell me what is going to be your end of goal in this investigation? Um, yes, uh, the goal is that to, to really hold people accountable. Sometimes we often hear, let's hold politicians accountable, let's hold politicians. No, it's not only politicians. First of all, we do not report, uh, we do not cover political news and stuff like that. But uh, there is just some very fundamental role in every community to build trust between community leaders and all these private organization, cultural organization, development organization. If you go to the public and solicit for fund, and that money is given to you because you want to go and construct a bridge, some water project, some hospital, whatever the case may be, we we'll like that you come back and give some accountability of how the money was spent back to the public. And that is what we have been doing. As you may recall, we still have a series of uh, grassroots organization that we are still following them up to see how they actually use the money that Leda USA gave to them. 
So we have had some positive feedback from some of the organization, but we are still doing uh, the investigation or the finding are still ongoing. Okay, thank you so much, sir, but I can't let you go. Any last word to our viewers? Yes, uh, I just want to uh, say uh, to the viewers of Gaza Media and to all community leaders uh, that if you are, uh, we are not the law enforcement or police officer. So it's just part of our duty uh, from, uh, from the reporting, from a media standpoint, that if you are aspiring to become the president or the CEO of any of the community or cultural group, and if you solicit funds from the public, then you should be ready to answer this fundamental basic question so that people, when people are donating their money, they know that the money is going to benefit whatever you said the objective were. I mean, it even extend to family, to, to individuals. Sometimes during cry die or funerals, when somebody dies, when the diaspora, people go online and create a GoFundMe account. So people will donate a lot of money for that kind of activity. But usually, people, they go and spend that money, then they never give back any accountability or a statement of account. So we would like that, if in a situation like that, whoever is responsible, when you go and do the funeral and come back, tell us how much money was collected, how the money was spent, where was the leftover, if there's any leftover, maybe it was given to the children of the bereaved or the children of the disease, or was given to some charity organization or whatever the situation may be. But the public will really like to know, and it is our role as the media to find out this information and present them to the general public. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. We are waiting to see the outcome. Moving on to the next segment.